bring a towel. I thought to myself, a towel? Lady, what do I need that for? Am I going to spill my water? I mean, <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo. I've worked out before. Now, she didn't know this, but I have a total gym in my basement, just like Chuck Norris. Now, granted, it's become a bit of a clothes rack in the past few months, but it's there. Friends, do you ever ignore the warnings, the blatant warnings that life sends your way? Lisa's email to me was a warning that this might be pretty intense. I conveniently chose to ignore it. Now, the second indication that I might be in a little over my head with this Fit Body Boot Camp was the fact that when I showed up that Saturday morning, everybody coming into my class and everybody leaving the previous workout, all these people were already in shape. But you know what? I didn't let that bother me. Again, I chose to ignore that warning. I thought to myself, you know what, I'm young, I'm agile. When I take my two-year-old daughter to the park, I can climb the dinosaur slide just as fast as she can. <laughs> now, the gym itself was really just this loading dock that had been converted into a circuit training area. There were 12 of us in this class. We were all using these taut cables that hung from the ceiling. And they extended down, sat right around at knee level height, and on the ends of these cables are these handles that we're using. So throughout the class, we're using our own body weight as a counter. We're leaning one way or the other, and we're pulling ourselves back. A lot of variations on the same type of exercise. Now up front, we've got our instructor. His name is Randy. And Randy is this perfect combination. He's got the intensity, the fitness of Billy Blanks from, you know, from those old Tybo fitness commercials. But he also has the charisma, the charm of a Richard Simmons. It's all in one package. <laughs> so Randy starts us out. He turns on the dance music, gets us pumped up. <laughs> you know, something like that. Everybody's feeling that adrenaline flowing. And then Randy starts us out. He says, all right, let's do some squats. So we're all sitting down. We're pulling ourselves back up. Sitting down, we're pulling ourselves back up. I'm feeling really good about myself. I think, I've got this hour nailed. Now here's my impression of myself over the next 15 minutes. Five minutes in, still feeling good. Feeling the burn. 10 minutes in, this is a little tougher than I thought. But I'm still here. 15 minutes in, oh god, I've made a horrible mistake. And luckily, after that first 15 minutes, Randy gave us a 30-second water break. That was just enough time for me to drink almost all of my water, and then my muscles were quivering so bad I spilled the rest of it. <laughs> Aha! This is why I brought that towel. Soak it up. Now, I kind of, I was exhausted at that point, I'll admit that. I just kind of spent the rest of the class swaying back and forth as Randy cycled through these exercises. Sometimes Randy would come over, he'd show me how to do an exercise, okay, this is the lunge. So I'd do one repetition for Randy, and then I'd just kind of go back to swaying. <laughs> Somewhere around the 30 minute mark, Randy shouts, okay, suspended push-ups. And I watch in absolute horror as everybody around me starts standing on one leg, putting the handles of these cables over their feet, and then somehow in magic, some magic fluid motion gets on the ground with their legs in these handles and starts doing suspended push-ups with their legs in the air. And I thought to myself, I know I'm not that flexible, but this isn't going to happen. <laughs> now I'm pleased to say I made it through the entire class, and I learned a valuable lesson that day. So did my body because it hurt to sit down for three days afterwards. <laughs> and I've been sore after working out before, but I kid you not, every single muscle in my body, from the balls of my feet, to my buttocks, to the tips of my fingers, <laughs> they were all sore. And now I've learned that if I'm going to work out, I need to be smart about it. So I don't do push-ups or push weights. I push my luck. <laughs> and I don't jump around jumping jacks. 
I jump to conclusions. Because I'm a Toastmaster, I don't run, I don't run around a track or any of that. I run my mouth. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. The answer is no, I did not use any of the remaining five classes that I purchased. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Contest.